Hello everyone, Asher and Talon here. Welcome back to what might be the final episode of Half-Life Echoes. Uh, we are on sequence 7 called Ashes. And we've just had a bit of a tool up at the end of this particular level. The last episode didn't go well towards the end. We died a lot. But we did manage to make it through in the end, so hopefully we'll uh, we'll be able to be a bit more successful. I hear soldiers. There weren't soldiers there, so there must be soldiers hidden away somewhere. I'm just gonna... Maybe go with... Feels like that's a trap. Doesn't it feel like that's a trap? Does it kind of feel like that's a trap to you guys? Because it really does to me. Can you hear my heartbeat? I don't like this at all. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Oh god, snarks! Freaking snarks! Jesus. Was he infested with them? It was like he might have been infested with them. That's disturbing. Should have just blown that up and killed them off to start with. Be done with it. Hate snarks. Speaking of hating snarks, I'm gonna run away from these ones. <laughs> Got him. Managed to nail him finally. I hate these things. I really hate snarks. They are very, very irritating to deal with, and it looks like we're gonna have a few of them. You know what? Let's just run. Let's hope for the best. Maybe we can uh, outrun them or at least get past. Uh, get past them. Fortunately, they only have a life of about 15 seconds, so they should die off by themselves. Just whether or not I run into a brick wall before that happens. There we go. We're still alive. It's all good. Man, these, uh... I know these maps are played through a few times, but they are used to great effects, aren't they? Just how they're different every time you pass through. For one reason or another. Let's try this way. Anything in them? No, just tissues. Not really ideal. Ah, yeah, you we can deal with. Big honking single target. Why is it sometimes they, it feels like uh, zombies take like one headshot and other times they take like four or five before they finally go down? Just double barrel it. The double barrel is always more effective. Obviously, it's double the ammo, but double the fun. Motherfucker, you ambushing son of a bitch. Do not take kindly to being ambushed, sir. As you found out to your cost. Let's just do a quick old save here. A bit, bit of a heal, and we'll be off again. Hopefully, can we get through this door? Yes. Yes, we can. And that explains why it was barricaded. Good little bit of ammo in here, though. Some useful bits. So. We're back in the tram section. Don't think he's on my side. Nope, he is not. Damn it. I felt like that would have been really effective if I hadn't missed or hit the uh, the barricade. Got him. Got him. Oh Christ, there's a lot more en enemies than I thought there was. Uh, 
I swear this weapon is one of the, one of, if not the most effective weapons for dealing with the guards. I think I blew myself up. I think I might have blown myself up. Not gonna lie. Just gonna do a quick reload there. And see if I can do a better job this time around. Missed him with the first shot again. Missed him with the second shot. Third, no. Fourth, all good. And fifth, apparently did not connect. That's annoying. Got him. Hoping he might have blown himself up. I definitely winged him. Wait for it. Yeah, he killed his mate that time round. Excellent. That's what we were hoping for. So, I think I heard the radio, so there's probably at least one more of them. Oh, Christ. That thing packs a punch, and it is tough to take down. Fortunately, the Magnum works pretty well. Let's see if we can get a little closer with taking the other one down. Maybe they're not going to activate again. I say they. That one is not going to activate again. That's not a barrier I can pass through. I can hear a radio, but I don't see anyone. Now what? Okay. Looks like we're going to have to try and disengage the security gates, so possibly breaking through. That's a sneaky thing. That's a sneaky, sneaky placement, that is. I'm just going to drop a grenade and run. Almost like that was a trap. What do you think? Alright, we can't use the armor as we've uh, discovered before, but there is some armor on the ground. That's always nice. See if there's anything useful in these. Might be worth the damn later, and that is what we're looking for. Let's go and give him a little greeting. You know what? I am going to see what I can do about taking some of these guys out from a distance. Damn it, if he just stood still for just a split second more. Got him. I don't think he's dead. That is three down at least. There's at least a couple more. But that's taken out a good portion of them. This is actually going a little better than I thought. Well, looks like we got incoming. That's a lot of incoming. But, it sounds like we've got some alien backup as well. I see some alien backup because they're not really on our side. I've only got a few shots left with the crossbow, so let's save it. Oh, Jesus Christ, the controllers now? These things are tough enough at the best of times, but... Do not expect them to see... Do not expect to see them in a mod. 
not in a mod where you don't feel as tooled up as you could be anyway. By this point in time, you've got in the main game, you've got like the glue on gun, the towel cannon, everything. Now in this game, not so much, and a few alien soldiers as well. I can hear their footsteps. So this could be interesting. Can we just hide in the bathroom, like this guy apparently? Grab his stuff. And the Magnum. The Magnum's going to be useful. Can we take him out? I take them out from a distance. I don't know how many of them there are. There's at least one. Possibly two. Probably more than one. Yep, definitely more than one. Hi. Well, at least I managed to take down one with the final shot. So there's three of them in total. Can I just get away? Can I just like run and hide? No, there is no other way through. Fine. Shame they can shoot round corners. I kind of want this guy to follow me and see if he'll come a little closer to this explosive barrel. Like that. Exactly like that. Yep. I call one uh, rifle grenade for one alien soldier a good trade. Don't know about you, but I would definitely. Quick sip of my tea, and let's see what awaits us up ahead. Good job that they've taken out most of the guards. I didn't really fancy facing down against more of these bastards. Unfortunately, my most powerful weapons are now practically empty. Hi guys. Oh crap. Should have expected there'd be one around the corner. Fortunately, they're not the smartest guys in the book. Sequence 8, dust. Final level? I don't know. To be honest with you, it kind of felt like Ashes was the final level. And, uh, yeah, that kind of made a fool out of me, didn't it? Grab a quick save. I'm not sure which I'd be... F I fancy taking on more. To be honest with you, probably neither of them. I don't like hit-scan weapons. They uh, never end well for me. But these things can hit you around corners, and they tend to be a bit resilient, a bit more resilient. So, answers on a postcard. Which would you prefer to be facing down against the uh, the alien army or the marines? Fortunately, I can soften them up on both sides, and then finish them off with nearly very little problems. Only a little armor left, only a little health left. Left, lost even. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. That went pretty well. Unfortunately, I did destroy a few, uh, a few cacti. Could be worse. Let's tool up on what we can. And quick reload as well on a few of these weapons. I don't think we're far now, you know, I really don't. Ooh. Hello, Howitzer. What's this button do? Bye bye. Bye bye. Wow, complete disintegration of the helicopter. Oh shit. They do not sound happy. Unfortunately, I think that, uh, that's probably convinced them I'm dead. Unfortunately, I can hear some more alien soldier hornet rounds. So that's 
Ah, this is where I'm gonna have to go through. I can you hear footsteps? I can't see anything. But I can see some rockets down there, which means we are gonna be getting the RPG soon. Or oh, possibly right fucking now. That's a tank. That's a tank. You better believe that's a tank. More RPG rounds. Where's the actual RPG? There it is. Turn off the laser sight. See if I can track where this. I was gonna say, see if I can track where the tank is, but that's that's where the tank is, right there. Okay, let's go. Grab the rockets. I'll say. Ow, that hurt. Try and move in between the shots and get a better firing solution on it. Preferably one where it can't hit me. Like this. This this one works pretty well. Yeah, this definitely works pretty well. Just whether I've not got enough rockets to take it out. Uh, there is some up here, isn't there? Maybe that'll do it. Seems to be a pretty tough tank. I know tanks are built to be tough. But I'm now out of rockets again. Black Mesa construction. Okay, so the orange guys were construction guys. Let's see where that tank's placement is now. There we go. Took everything we had combat uh, bullet wise on that, but we took it down. Or at least made it back off. This is not going to end well. I think they are unhappy with the fact that I was, uh, that I've taken out their tank. Let's see if we can find a way out before they blow us up. Sounds like it's on the left. Yep. Can use this as cover. Cover pretty well. Starting to think these guards were not the military tacticians I thought they were. As I get blown up by two grenades. I'm gonna fall back, hopefully pick up some health. Didn't go as well as I would have liked. I was doing pretty well, and then... And then I got caught in between two grenades and, well, he saw the rest. But hey, I'm still alive, so it can't be too bad. Let's see if there's anything left in terms of health and armor that I can grab before we move on. A little health at least. There's another set of guards over there I can hear. More grenades, more crossbow bolts. More shotgun ammo. Speaking of shotgun. Let's just do a quick double tap on him. Oh, feck. Um, I do not have the bullets to take that guy on again. I say bullets, rockets. Can you just like open the door for me? Maybe I can get away? No? Okay, fine. I can hear, I could hear them. Where are they? Other side. Let's see if I can take out a few from a distance. Oh, good. Tank's back. And it is not happy. Not happy, Bob. Not happy. Fortunately, I seem to be doing a pretty good job of taking these guys out from distance. I don't think they know exactly that I'm here. 
do a quick runner, hope for the best. And into the tunnel. Yeah, managed to take out all those guards from a distance. Oh, I love it when that happens. This is a freaking war zone. Um. Okay, that's opened a way forward. We've got to be approaching the end of this particular episode. Honestly thought this would have been the last one to be caught in a studio, so I felt like I was right at the end of the game. Were they trying to clear away? Oh my Christ! I was going to say, were they trying to clear away into the... No, nope, that's going to kill me off. I was going to say, were they trying to clear away back into the facility? I think the answer for that is yes. You don't expect a gargantuan to be there, do you? I think we're going to set the gargantuan loose against the guard, uh, against the tank. Let's see which one wins, the gargantuan or the tank. A hey, bum munch. Not me. Yeah, you have you guys have fun. I'm gonna just leave. Although I do kinda wanna see which one wins. Yep. I had a feeling it might be the gargantuan. It's always the gargantuan. The only thing I've seen the gargantuan not stunned up against is an airstrike and a um high electricity pylon. That's it though. Let's just drop down here. Oh! Oh, well, hello! I did not expect to see the glue-on gun. Fortunately, I'm now fairly trapped. Let's leave. We can't leave. We're trapped. Damn. I wonder if we're supposed to kill the gargantuan. Let's see, shall we? Be a good way of finishing things off. Ready? Here we go. Probably going to take a full stock of ammo if we do manage to succeed. Or maybe just half of it. We are fucking mighty. Who needs Gordon Freeman anyway? Now how the hell do we get out of here? That's actually a very good question. How do we get... Oh Christ. Those are new particle effects for the... Uh... They're new particle effects for the glue gun. Which is cool. Sorry, not talking too much because craziness going on. All I seem to have done is made them angry. Shush. Maybe it was the last episode. What's next? Jesus Christ. <laughs> Another teleportation storm. Another crystal. I want to know what this is. This teleportation effect, this weird almost hyperspace style movement. And that thing.
it's an awesome uh, different viewpoint Prepare on for unforeseen consequences Alex I should have known when he rescued her it was for his own damn reasons considering he left her behind to start with yeah well, I'd say so well, isn't this just like old times We've been rather busy in your absence, Borealis. Mr. Freeman. That will be all. Gordon. Oh, snap. You remember my wife, Ozian, don't you? We were living in base housing, you know. And I think we're I can playing. Still only guess what might have happened to my wife. I feel like we're playing Azzy Live Ants. Huh. We meet again. So nice to have you with us. Oh, not for long. <sighs> Is that a combine harvester? A combine harvester. Come back. Come back here now. I love the little Half Life robot toy. Can we hop out the front maybe? Maybe we're gonna go outside the front. Yeah, something's happening out there. Get back here. Oh, the G-Man can be so incredibly creepy. What is that? <sighs> oh no, not this time. Pay attention. I'm only going to say this once. Prepare for unforeseen consequences. You kidding me? You say it all the fucking time. <laughs> That's the nuke. That's the nuke that um, Adrian Shepard disables and the G Man re enables. what detonates the Black Mesa complex. Man, this is doing a really good job of tying things up. But I would love to see a proper... Oh, there we go. Candidate 12, evaluation period complete. Subject unsuitable for employment. Demonstrated keen ability but was susceptible to external influence. Let me guess that means termination, essentially. Okay. Candidate 7 has got to be Shepard. Candidate 3, Freeman? Candidate 1? Is that Eli Vance, I wonder? And that's it. Wow, okay. Didn't expect that last sequence to be quite so short. I don't know what to make of it. This mod is incredible. It's really, really good and it's ingratiated itself into the, the lore of Half-Life incredibly well. I've kind of got to say I really still want to see a follow-up to Half-Life 2 and, and the episodes. I know Valve have tried a few things and ditched them before completion for one reason or another. Ah, but I would love to see it. It's... It'll have been a long time waiting if it does come. I know the finale of this one was based on an unfinished script for Half-Life 3, hence the Borealis, which I know was mentioned at the end of Episode 2. 
so there's at least some <sighs> some kind of in canon -ness there perhaps I very much enjoyed this mod though and it's I would highly recommend you guys give it a go if you haven't already and I'd be very very interested to see how how if at all they follow it up thank you for watching and thank you to the echoes team for making this mod it's just been brilliant really enjoyed it so until next time which next time what is next time i think probably i'm going to be starting something that's been asked about a few times and long awaited i'm going to do a system shock 2 run and it's been such a long time since i played it it may as well be blind i hope you'll join me for that and uh, if you do fantastic i hope to see you there Take care. Bye now.